Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here on Monday, January 23rd, um, to talk about the rare Monday LEC slate. Um, it is, let's see, five games slate again, um, regular slate. Um, and I've watched the last couple days of the LEC, and I wanted to share some insights and my opinions on who the best team is. So I have been um, just based on the stats and based on my eye test and kind of make predictions that way. Um, so hopefully um, this is helpful and you guys find it informative. So let's look at, I'm just going to kind of just go through TH, make predictions that way. That way I will share my power rankings throughout the way. That's easier, I think, than going through it separately. So. I wanted to kind of show you the um, the key metrics that I value the most. Um, for those of you who have watched my videos in the past, you know, this is probably similar to what I go through usually uh, at the beginning of um, each uh, region's league. Um, so I think this, for some reason, they call it a winter split. That's been throwing me off. It's a spring split, but, you know, it is what it is. So anyway. So as you can see, like if we uh, see like G2 has been really, really good. Um, uh, like I'll, I'll just go through the records first. G2, KOI used to be Rogue. Mad Lions and Team Vitality have all gone two and zero the past couple of days. And then BDS, Her uh, Team Heretics, uh, one and one. And then Astralis, XL, Fnatic, which are both surprising that they're 0 and two. And then SK Gaming, 0 and two. So G2, we've kind of expected them to do well, and KOI used to be rogue um, as well. But, yeah, I mean, they've been so good. Like, as you can see here, let's see, where is gold? Yep. Um, early game, I think G2 had the best one. Yep. So, like, G2 has been so, so good for some reason. Like, their early game and their uh, game control, objective control, has been really, really good, in my opinion. Um, so really, I mean, like today they're playing as Astralis. I mean, you see that Astralis is really bad. Unfortunately, I think Astralis is going to be one of the worst teams in, uh, the region. Um, so I'm just going to put G2 in here. Um, let me see what, uh, the odds 550. Okay. That's not bad. I, I would give it higher than that. So I think G2 will definitely win here. Astralis has been somewhat surprisingly competitive in certain situations, but I, I think at the, end, at the end of the day, based on G2's form, I think G2 is going to win no matter what. Um, so I just want to compare their stats real quick, just as the final layer of analysis. You see like jungle control percentage is amazing like for G2, even though they got a new jungler, he's meshed in so, so really well uh, so far, uh, so early in the season. Like, they beat Fnatic, uh, was it yesterday? Yep, yesterday. I mean, you see this. It's crazy. Like, crazy, crazy. Um, I do want to show you something about their jungle control percentage. Um, like, yike, where, is, where are you at? Look at this. The jungler. So, this is, like, a player I guess I would target in G2 stacks, if you are going for that. 73% kill participation, 43.2% kill share. He has been lights out. Um, he has more than replaced the Ankos uh, for G2 at jungle. So I like him a lot, uh, even for prize picks, over under picks, uh, over kills for Yike. Um, so whatever that is, I would uh, smash that on over. So I do think G2 is going to win that one by far. Let's look at SK versus Team Heretics. I think that's going to be an interesting match. I think SK definitely has a chance here. I think Team Heretics has been okay, in my opinion. Let me look at, uh, yeah, negative 7, 21. I do want to see the jungle control. Yeah, Team Heretics has uh, advantage there. And I think they are favored, right? Maybe? Yeah. But at the same time, I, I think SK can do it. Like, SK has a very strong middle game, mid to late game advantage here, as you can see. 
Um, no, SK does not. Uh, SK has an early game advantage here. And then um, I think Heretics has been really good. Mid to get late game, not really good, but pretty good. But early game and... Eh, not. Yeah, I mean, I think SK can do it. I, I'd say, like, my confidence level is not as high as G2, obviously, and Team Heretics winning. But I think if I have to make a prediction, yeah, I think Team Heretics wins. But SK is a live dog for sure. All right. Let's look at... XL versus BDS. I really like XL this season. I think I told you preseason that um, XL would do really well. Um, they started they started the season 0 and 2. I think their teammates are new teammates are trying to trying to uh, figure that out. Um, their mid to late game, as you can see, with a new team compared to BDS, who's had uh, most of the team come back, like Adam in the top lane. I think XL has been somewhat disappointing. Um, but I think they will eventually bounce back. So I do want to see what the odds are. XL is favored to win and BDS. Yeah, this is a tough one because XL's form is really bad, but at the same time, they're so talented just based on the new roster. I do think XL wins and bounces back here. Um, I think they're uber talented and with two games under the belt, I think they're going to win today and then fanatic versus koi is it probably should be a to coin toss coin flip all right koi is favored yes i mean it's close close enough i actually do not even need to see this but i want to see what whether it supports my yeah i think koi is gonna win sorry fanatic has been very very disappointing probably even more disappointing than excel has been um, I'm not even going to say Fnatic is a live dog. I think KOI wins by far, just like G2. Um, Fnatic has been just absolutely horrible. They were probably the most disappointing team in the last couple of days that I've seen so far. I think Fnatic was really, really bad in early game, but also in the mid to late game fighting. They were all over, like, they're very disjointed uh, amongst the teammates. Separate calls. Um, I think they still have a lot to figure out. Unfortunately, I think Fnatic's going to go through some struggles early in the couple first couple of weeks of the season. I think KOI looks really good. I mean, I think they look solid. I think they that's what they need in a three game weekend like this, where KOI is going to persevere and go goes through uh, with a win here today. Mad versus Vitality is interesting. I think Vitality wins, but let's see if the data supports that. I think with Bo, with the addition of Bo for Vitality, has been really, really, really good. I had high expectations with them as well, um, but I didn't know it was going to translate into two wins in the first two games, respectively. Um, I think they have very similar uh, stats here. Good mid early game, decent mid to late game. Um, and then jungle control percentage, El Yoya, is amazing for Mad Lions, but I think Bo is not that far behind for Vitality. I think it's going to come down to the bottom lane there. Um, I mean, you'll see the stats here. I'll show you. Uh, Mad Lions and Vitality. Need carry support. I mean, you see here, like generally, you see Vitality has a higher kill participation here for Kaiser and Neon compared to Hillisang and Karzi. I think Hillisang and Karzi really like they're just doing their own thing, not really engaging that much, letting El Yoya make plays on the top of the half of the map. But I think Bo will neutralize that for Vitality. So I think at the bot at the end of the day in the late game, I think Kaiser and Neon, I prefer them way much more than Karzi and Hillisang. Like you see here, that they do so much more damage and uh, participation level. I do think Neon's uh, form has been form has been better than Karzi's, as you can see at the kill share level as well. So I do think Team Vitality wins. Um, but I think Matt is the live dog. But pretty confident that Vitality wins with Bo neutralizing El Yoya and with a better bottom duo in Neon and Kaiser. So that's probably, that's my guess. And these are my predictions for January 23rd. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, in terms of, let's look at the kill upside. I think that's very important on a five game slate like this. 
as you can see, Tim Heretics have been playing really fast. Um, so I do think this game will come down to, let's say SK has been pretty slow though, right? So I do think um, this game presents a good, decent, medium to high kill upside. And then XL versus BDS. XL BDS has been kind of slow. So I'm going to say medium, low to medium. G2 versus Astralis is an interesting one. I think this is going to be similar to the SK Gaming that I just mentioned, medium to high. I think Fnatic to KOI is going to be an interesting one as well. I think Fnatic will try to bounce back, but then KOI has been kind of slow, just like Rogue was last year. Um, I think it's going to be medium, to be honest with you. I think Fnatic will try to be more like mistake uh, uh, fr uh, prone type of mentality here coming into this game after going to an O, I mean, O and two, I think kill upside for the mad and vitality will be very high. I think Bo and Elioia try to make plays and stuff like that. I think this is going to be medium to high. So if I were to do pick two, two favorite uh, matchups, mad versus vitality, the last matchup of the day, and then SK versus TH is my guess. And then G2 versus Astralis. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Reach out to me at DFS Chan on Twitter, YouTube, whatever social media you can reach out to me. Please, please like this uh, video if you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.